It's a book that explores the blurred lines between crime and justice. The Stranger Inside is best-selling author Lisa Unger's 17th novel, and she joins me today. She was just giving me a hard time because I was telling her about my book club <laughs> of three people. Okay, we don't have a lot of friends. Like I'm it. sorry. I, no, I like it. My friend and I were actually just thinking of making a book group for two people. That's enough. That's right. all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> Go for it. There's somebody to talk to about it. <laughs> well, folks will really want to get The Stranger Inside for their next book club because it's such a great book Thank you. and so I kind of want to set the stage rain the main character she has gone through she shares a traumatic severely traumatic past with her best friend yeah and they both cope with it in entirely different ways yeah um, that's really one of the, the major uh, themes of the stranger inside that you know trauma is it's not like the sort of a one-size-fits-all experience mm -hmm. that we all process what happens to us differently and that two different people can take very different roads after you know they experience the same event and that's definitely something I'm exploring in this book. I, I'm just amazed with all of your books Lisa how well you're able to get inside people's minds into the darkness we're gonna get to the lightness part in just yeah. a moment but <laughs> into the you know the trauma of certain psychological events or yeah. or maybe a psychosis or whatever it is that they're dealing with how much research do you have to do what what's that process like to get because you have all these different ideas for yeah. these different scenarios of psychological aspects well research is a, obviously a super big part mm -hmm. of my process and sort of my research into you know um, the mind which is you know sort of the ultimate mystery of the universe like we know more about um, space than we mm -hmm. do about our own brains. So, water. Yeah, sure. yeah, of course. And so, like, I, I always have sort of considered myself a spelunker. You know, like mm -hmm. I just sort of want to shimmy into these dark spaces to find out what's there, what makes us who we are. And so that, you know, that research is kind of ongoing. You know, I think maybe if I weren't a writer, I'd probably be a psychiatrist. I think so. That's my, <laughs> that's sort of my fascination mm -hmm. point. So I mean, it's a lot of reading, and obviously, I'm sort of an information and news junkie. So I'm I'm constantly, you know, taking in as much data as I can, and then, you know, it's sort of that, you know, that research finds its way into my fiction. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's interesting. Also, you talk about just the author being able to connect with the reader, and you're you're reading this book and saying, "Oh, I get that. That's how I feel." And that's how I felt when I was reading about Rain, your main character, because she's also she's a journalist, but she's right. also a mom. She's a new mom, and she's trying to marry both worlds and having a hard time doing it, dealing with the mom guilt, dealing with who am right. I, identity issues. Right. Where did you, did you draw upon that yourself? Because I know yeah, you Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I think anytime you have two like sort of high level goals, you know, mm -hmm. if you've got something that, you know, really means something to you professionally and then you have this, like you fall in love with this like little person, you know, who enters your life and there's always going to be like, you know, sort of these friction points where you're, you have to think like, can I be both things? Can I, you know, have this big career, this big part of my personality and not take away from my child? So, I mean, I think that that's like sort of, you know, something that every working mom can relate to, you know, that conflict. And it's definitely something that I draw on from my own life, you know, because writing is a big creative enterprise and parenting is a, is a big creative mm -hmm. enterprise. And, you know, there are a lot of friction points. I gotta ask you a personal question because you bring up the parenting as a creative en enterprise. As I'm pregnant right now, I feel yeah. like my creativity is waning. Did you ever really? feel like that when you, because you, well, I'm creating life? <laughs> well, probably because you're tired. Yeah, well, you're making you one. Go. Like, I mean, I don't that's think you're creative. Yeah, well, I, that's a pretty big creative enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> don't be hard on yourself. I think that's good enough for now. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm trying. So what, yeah. what else do we have on tap, Lisa? What's your next project that you might want to share with us, although we are so excited about The Stranger Inside? Well, I never really talk about my next book. Okay. I have to keep everybody in suspense, okay. but you know, it's done and it'll publish in fall 2020. And and, you know, um, I hope everyone will read that as well. Fantastic. And what about your book signing? Yes, Oxford Exchange. Um, Great place. September 17th. Mm -hmm. 6.30 tonight, uh, tonight yeah. exactly right, and um, it's going to be um, all details on lisaunger.com, and an absolutely uh, super fun night with Colette Bancroft, a, a book review editor of the Tampa Bay Times. Oh, she! I love when you work together with her, those yeah. are fun. Yeah, good times. So if you want to go out and see Lisa, meet Lisa, there you go. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>